Hey guys, I'm Phoenix here and welcome to Industrial Craft 2. Now I am currently playing on the Carbonated Gaming um, Infinity server and I was just starting to work on the turning table and I thought well actually I'll do a video on this because it is quite interesting just to show you guys how it's actually working. So what I've got here is a turning table which is basically a lathe. You've got an iron turning blank in here and a lathing tool. Now your iron turning blank is what you're going to be using to turn into a certain shape. So for example uh, the mining laser does require an iron turning blank as part of its crafting recipe and it requires this shape. Now it needs your iron turning blank obviously and the lathing tool which is made really easily um, like so. Uh, all of these items are in NEI, so you can look them up. So let us. Uh, oh, and so we've got the turning table down there. We've also got a manual kinetic generator. Now, if we look at the top here, if I right click the manual kinetic generator, it does give it a little bit of power, as you can see. And then you can use that power to click on these various ones. So we need it. One more, one more down. So it's two. Is it? So it's three twos, then three and four. So let's just do that. Now, as you can also see, it does require uh, that the lathing tool will get damaged as you go. There isn't any sort of upgraded version of the lathing tool, it's just what you get. Um, so it's all twos, three and four, so a little bit more power and four, there we go. We now have our handle, you can then just take that out. And then you get a uh, tiny piles of iron dust out of it as well, which is uh, useful. And then, yeah, that's your turning blank. You can then use that uh, in your crafting recipe for the mining laser which I am going to start building now because I need a few things that require mining lasers. So I need to make a thermal centrifuge. I also need to make a pattern storage. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna need three mining lasers all in all, which is going to be an interesting craft, but hey, needs must. So I need to make advanced machine casings and the like for my thermal centrifuge. And oh yeah, as last video, last video I just kind of showed you how I was doing R and D. This is R and D. Um, as it stands, there's not a huge amount to, do, uh, to deal with. Uh, next floor down will be the altar, and I've decided that I'm going to go for nether brick walls with lava lighting, and I think that will be look kind of epic. So. Uh, yeah, for now, I will say thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped some people, and I will see you next time.